evening from the gorgeous Grand Floridian. It's stunning. I got to stay one night. Pipe dreams. Um, <laughs> I thought I'd start my Magic Kingdom night from here. I got my way to here. We are going to be going over there. So that's one stop on the monorail. Um, I made some lightning lanes for tonight to kind of get a jump on everybody. We've got dinner at Beauty and the Beast Castle, be our guest. And we have extended hours till 1am. What am I thinking? Um, <laughs> right now, there is a little bit of light rain. So I'm kind of taking my time in the lobby here. Um, but it really is, I mean, it's very, very white. Apparently, all of this is going to change. This Victorian style that they've got going on. The light fittings and the birdcage down there. Apparently, this is going to change. They're going to bring it up to date. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'll wait and see. I'll wait and see. All right, we're going to head out of these doors, come up from the lobby, come up one floor, and a monorail will be, oh, magic doors. And the monorail will be right there for us. This is cool, seeing the 50th one. I like this. Hey, Mickey. Magic Kingdom. You can see there's been some rain at Disney. A little bit of relief from the heat actually because it has been the last couple of days just almost unbearable and normally it would rain and kind of clear it out. It did not. So it was overdue a little bit of rain. Or no sorry it did rain yesterday. I missed it completely because I was inside. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's go. Sorry, this bag is gorgeous. Oh my god, all yours for $85, but still, oh my wow, 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 wow. Sorry, Claire, stay away from the match. You don't need it, yeah, don't need any more. I'll just show you, I don't know if I can see it, I don't know if the camera picked that up. I have a little bow in tonight, because why not? Would I do it at home? No, I'm at Disney. I can wear bows, I can wear cute dresses, I can do what I like. Shot. It's the castle, everybody! Ah! <laughs> I really do like the colours. Does anyone remember the old colours now? You're all going to go, yes, I do. It was this colour in the comments. I know you are. I like these colours. Um, I heard actually that these newer colours make it easier for the projections to show. That makes sense to me. Really does. Okay. I don't think, nope, the castle is blocked off. We gotta go around. Okay, we'll go that way. Hey boys, I haven't actually spoken to Chip and Dale this trip. That's not like me. I love playing with them. I just haven't had the time. I haven't been in Magic Kingdom at the right time. That's sad. I do love them. Never paid attention to this before. There's a welcome sign for Liberty Square. Look at that. Huh, I'm not going to read it to you. I know you can read. But isn't that cool? Huh. Hello, gorgeous. I'm just capturing some still pictures while I'm stood here because, oh my God. We have a lightning lane for Peter Pan's flight. Peter Pan has long lines from crack of dawn to the last minute at night, often, not always, 
Uh, you know, if you're gonna ride it and you don't want to do Genie Plus, I suggest end of the day. But anyway, so that is what we're gonna go do. We're gonna fly over Neverland with Peter Pan. Neverland always freaks me out. Like, just seems to bottleneck people. Oh. just how many castles there are in the Magic Kingdom. It is way more than Cinderella Castle. We're going to be going to Beast Castle later. And here is Prince Eric's Castle, which makes it technically Princess Ariel's. So yeah, look out for more castles than just Cinderella. Speaking of Ariel's Castle, this is where we've now got a lightning lane. The line is up to 35 minutes. I love this ride, but you shouldn't wait 35 minutes. It's quite simple. So we're going to do this. Circus. Storybook Circus is an extension of Fantasyland and there's two rides back here that have the shortest waits in the park right now. One is the Barnstormer which is a goofy themed roller coaster and it's got a low height requirement and it's kind of kids first coaster if you like although it is more risky than you expect and we've got Dumbo here as well there is two Dumbos they put in a second Dumbo a few years ago and now the line moves a lot faster but something very very cool instead of waiting in a regular line you're given a pager and there is a play area inside and when your pager goes off you come out and you get in the you get in the uh, line you know no line and get straight onto Dumbo which is genius if you're a parent with little ones. No standing in a hot line. Anyway, so we're gonna do Dumbo and Barnstormer because we have time before dinner. Dumbo one, Dumbo two. So there it is, that little play area so no one has to wait in line. Look at the theming in there, and Dumbo is flying around the ceiling. It's so cute. What I really like is the purple one. I see the purple one. Please, no one take the purple one. Let me have the purple one. They're going to take it. Oh, then, oh, no, they took it. They took it. Okay. This is kind of purple, too. Works for me. I don't like rides that go round and round. I, there's no way teacups. This, I've kind of adjusted to it. I have been riding it. So, let's do this. Here we go. Please don't make me ill. Oh, it's taking us up all by itself. Excuse me, I did nothing. I did nothing. What is that? Oh. Okay. Oh, and, oh, oh, there's a bounce. 
Well, we can't. We're kind of up here now. It feels good. It's the breeze. <laughs> On the ground. Have a look at this. Do you see the peanuts in the paving? There's the Dumbo and the elephant. So cool. The storm has gone up to a 20 minute wait. And there is nothing wrong with waiting 20 minutes. I don't need to ride it by that bad. It was like to fill in time uh, before dinner. I will show you Barnstormer. Just so you can make your own decision. <laughs> and that's literally the whole ride cycle. I mean, it is 20, 25 seconds of ride. So that's why I really don't need to wait in the line. People do. I've seen that line get up to an hour. There is lightning lane. Again, this face is, why? Why would you? Why would you? Anyway, on to better things. What we can kind of see from this angle is Tron. Tron is going to be the newest ride coming to Magic Kingdom. The, the original Tron is in one of the Asian parks. It escapes me now. And you are riding on a light cycle. The whole thing looks incredibly cool. And hopefully, by next year, when I come back, it will be up and running. This area of Storybook Circus, we've got Casey Jr., again from the film Dumbo. These are normally squirting water. This is a whole splash zone. The way the heat's been this week, I imagine this has been very, very busy back here. We've got some restrooms back here in Storybook Circus. And up here is Pete's Silly Sideshow. Now, eventually, that tent at the back will open up again. It used to be a meet and greet for Goofy and Donald on one side, and it was Minnie and Daisy on the other. And I really hope they bring it back soon. We're ready. We're ready to have you back, guys. Pete's Silly Sideshow behind me. There is some really nice seating up here and at the moment I can't imagine this gets very busy because nothing is happening up here. Big Top Souvenirs behind me has been open and as the name suggests, it's a souvenir shop. It also has um, a sweet case so you can get your cupcakes, cake pops, uh, Rice Krispie treats, slushies, candies, uh, so when it's open, the aircon is fierce and the line is going to be a lot less there than it is at the Emporium or the bakery, anything like that. So I would come up here and give this a go. It's a nice alternative to uh, Main Street when it seems really, really busy. So Cinderella Castle there. We are going to a different castle for dinner now. So we are going into the Beast Castle. I've loved the detail here. I've managed to eat breakfast here a couple of times. Um, look at the gargoyles there. And we've got the proper gates. Look at that. We are heading this way. You can say hi.
the chandeliers, the balconies. We're going to see the West Wing later with the Rose and the Rose Gallery. And for now, I'm going to soak in that I'm in the Beast Castle on my last, oh gosh, on my last night at Disney World. That's pretty perfect, really, for me. We've got a little bread here, a couple of rolls. And the butter is sprinkled with a little salt right there. So we're going to start with that. I've got the lobster bisque coming uh, to start. Oh my gosh, the beast is coming. There he is. Oh my tenderloin it's not working shall we shall we um, go to dessert okay so we have the lemon macaron with raspberry cream we have the all focus focus we have the gray stuff here with a cookie crack and this is there's the gray stuff and then we have a chocolate truffle here so we're going to try all three. The three, the lemon macaron with raspberry is the clear winner. That is very good. In fact, that's the best thing I ate tonight. That shouldn't be the way. It is. The truffle is a very dark chocolate. So that's not fair because I don't like dark chocolate. The grey stuff, the cream, the light cookie cream um, is, is fine. It's fine. So, I'll give you a proper review, my opinion, when we go outside, but you can kind of take a guess what I'm going to say. So, as we are guests of the Beast, we are allowed to take a walk around the castle even into the West Wing and that is where I'm going to take you now. We all know what's in the West Wing. Aren't we lucky to have permission? Here it is, the West 
West Wing. Now we have to be mindful. People are eating dinner, of course. This is a <laughs> working restaurant and not just an enchanted castle. But over here, we know what's here. Look at that. How do they do that? How do they do this? It baffles me. There is the beast's portrait that he can't bear to look at anymore. We make our way out of the West Wing. I'll take you across the way to the Rose Gallery. Now, I never used to think this room was very special till I stepped in it myself, so maybe you'll see it too. So right here is Belle and the Beast's music box. Waltzing away there under this beautiful light. Around the edge of the room is the cutest artwork. Look at the beast's face in that one. That's my favorite in here. But there is all sorts of memories that they've clearly created together. Look, they're having a tea party. Come on, look at the beast. He doesn't look very impressed. If you can hear bangs, it's because there is um, enchantments going off outside. So we have a tapestry now. And I won't show you all in depth, but... So it's, it's pretty in here. Those fireworks are thumping. Oh my goodness, I'm stepping out to fireworks. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> so there's fireworks going off that way and I turned around. I'll put it in, it was on my phone because I just, it's that quick. It came out to fireworks going off out here. <sighs> On my last I night. We need to talk about that meal. I'm just too emotional right now. <laughs> okay, we are at Princess Fairy Tale Hall. Now, before I went in for dinner, the wait was 45 minutes, and I was just hoping it was going to come down. Fireworks have just finished. Fantasyland is still roped off. You can't go through the castle. And sure enough, the wait for the princesses is 15 minutes. Even more exciting, with Cinderella tonight, is a guest princess. It is not Elena. It's freezing in here, holy moly. Um, it's not Elena. I don't know who it is. So, you know, curiosity. Who is with Cinderella tonight? Ooh, who am I gonna get, who am I gonna get? It couldn't be Ariel, that would just be too perfect. That would be too perfect. It's Elena. There's nothing wrong with Elena. But it's a guest princess, so I'm a little bit disappointed. Life has changed a little bit for you now. Have you adjusted? Are you happy to let other people do the work now? Or do you? <laughs> well, I do enjoy still being able to be myself and spending time with my loved ones too. And sometimes I still like to go back to my old ways and my prince and I will do the dishes together or I'll hope Jack and Gus taste some new desserts about cooking with them. It's not always the worst thing to put in a little bit of work. I think that's kind of romantic that the prince does dishes oh, too. Oh, lovely? We like to sing to the bubbles together. Friends at home will be able to see you too. Oh, really? I'm just sharing this magic with Elena. I love this with so much. I know. It kind of reminds me of one of my sister's inventions. 
She's actually gonna create one for me, so I can go on my Jacqueline Adventures and hold it. Wow! Maybe you can bring this for our Jacqueline Adventures too. That would be amazing. And imagine Wonderful. when you're flying, all the views. <gasps> Wonderful uh, views back lower. I know. Oh, that would be so exciting. We'll have to go on adventures together very that soon. That sounds amazing. <laughs> I love that so much. Thank you so much, my sister. We'll have to take some portraits. We'll some portraits now. Now. together, of course. <laughs> I said I was disappointed, but Princess Elena was very, very interested in my magic device here. And she wanted to, yeah, you saw? How could I be disappointed in that? Thank you, Princess Elena, for sharing your thoughts with us. Hi. I just wanted to know, how the restaurant is going, and if people come down to Tiana's place, you know, what's on the menu? Oh, the menu, let's see. Well, the restaurant's going swell. Everyone loves watching me play the trumpet all the time. And it's just the bees and bees over there. They love my beignets and gumbo. Yep. And let's see, I'm actually adding some new ingredients to the menu. Yeah, very soon. But we have, right now we have gumbo, we have beignets, we have etouffee, rice and beans. Louis loves the rice and beans. But so anything you can think of, because I love reading cookbooks too. Wow. Right, so while I've got um, Cogsworth and Lumiere for company, let's talk about Be Our Guest. Here's what I did like. I loved the service. I clearly loved this setting. I love that you get to see the beast. I love that you get to walk around and see the rows and every room, the atmosphere, it's snowing. You've got the uh, soundtrack, the score playing behind you. It's the perfect setting. It should be a brilliant meal. And I heard when it first opened, and we're talking, has it been open a decade? Probably at this point more. Um, it was good once upon a time. This food, it's not good enough. It doesn't need to be of that standard. I mean, you walk in, I mean, I showed you the gargoyles and the beast castle in the background and the gates and the armor. All of it is stunning. And this is a case of Disney knows they can book the tables and it doesn't matter what they serve, people are still gonna go. That, when I said, I think this is style over substance, I didn't wanna be right and I was. So right now, I wouldn't go back. I wouldn't go back. If they bring breakfast back, I will go for breakfast. I will go for breakfast. But that dinner, lunch and dinner at the same price, same menu, it's 62, blah, blah, $62 before tax and tip. $62. I'm used to paying that in Disney. I just want to have a decent meal for it. When I compare Garden Grill from last trip, that was about the same price. No, maybe a little bit, I don't know, similar. And at the time I questioned it, $250 for the three of us to have dinner there, it was far superior to what I've just had tonight. So those are my thoughts. If you love Beauty and the Beast, go. Do go, do experience it, do go in there. But don't do it for the food. <laughs> that, that is just my thoughts and everyone should try things for themselves, always. Okay, we are on our way to Tomorrowland. We have a lightning lane for Space Mountain. Um, I was hoping to do all three mountains while I was here. We did splash the other day. Big Thunder, sadly, is down. It hasn't come back up. And we actually had an apology in the app from management. They cannot seem to get it working. So, it's not happening this trip. That's okay, I've done Big Thunder plenty. It is currently about quarter past 10. The park officially closes at 11, and then we are into extended evening hours. 
I think I've called them extra magic hours a couple of times and that's because they used to be called extra magic hours it is now extended evening hours for deluxe resort guests I'm gonna hate walking out of here tonight it, oh god it's so tough it's not going anywhere it's such a big part of my life it really is but you know coming up this year in August I'm going back to Paris Avengers campus is opening and in September I'm going to the ultimate Disney event and that is D23 and um, D23 is the Disney fan club D23 Expo is run by Disney so much good stuff to come this year and yet it's like I'm grieving and I haven't even left yet once it's in your heart <laughs> it doesn't go away Just approaching Space Mountain and standby line is at 60 minutes we have lightning lane the lightning lane is backed up this is more likely to be actually where people aren't tapping the band right or it's not quite their time it's moving again it's moving again this mountain is an 80 minute wait and it is 20 past 10 at night always going to be a popular ride it's about two minutes to 11. Uh, regular park hours finish at 11 and then we are into extended hours right now the queues still look a little long i think once you let that run through in about 30 minutes from now everything will be a walk on apart from seven dwarfs mine train so i'm gonna just gonna chill and let the park calm down so the line has gone down significantly at Buzz Lightyear while you still see people there there's no outside line now and so that is a really good sign and it's a constantly loading ride so this won't take too long and I'm just thinking and recording as I go obviously there's no lightning lane now either so uh, standby lines are going to move a lot smoother no lightning lane to uh, feed in things have settled down a little we're gonna make our way around the park and do the things that we just haven't had a chance to yet uh, Winnie the Pooh comes to mind Pirates of the Caribbean comes to mind uh, those are the two main ones actually uh, and I'm sure we will see things on the way and I'll go oh yeah <laughs> we see the speedway now if that's open for extra magic hours we're going there because it's just so much fun not everyone agrees with me I love it we're in an insane line for the speedway and what's happened is the cast member is having a problem finding the resort stay for this guest at the front I think um, inside there's actually a bit of a line too I'm not going to wait for it now because it's already 11.30 and I think that's a waste of extended hours. So into Fantasyland we go. All right, let's go have an adventure with Winnie the Pooh. This is just so cute. Oh, <laughs> 
cute. There was a little one behind me. She's probably 14, 15 months. And she sat there and at the end of the ride, she clapped her hands and yay! Oh, bless her. Okay, we are making our way across Fantasyland. We will be working around to Adventureland. Uh, two pirates, I think that will end up being our last one. We're just gonna see what's on the way. Carousel is running. You know, I'm, I'm checking it because not everything is. Um, so don't assume that everything will be open. It isn't always. Characters are very much done for the day. So if you think you're gonna meet princesses or Mickey, you're not, I'm sorry. That's why I did them earlier. Uh, right, let's head down. It's busier than I was expecting. And I think that's just probably hotels are more full for summer. Would make sense, wouldn't it? So more people at Deluxe's, more kids without a bedtime because it's summer. All sorts of factors. A good indicator. Peter Pan is at a 30 minute wait. <laughs> so these rides are by no means a walk on, but earlier today it was at 60, wasn't it? So half the wait and we are still in the first hour of extra magic hours so people will calm down not going crazy i am in fact in it's a small world voluntarily i know it's weird isn't it i think i'm saying goodbye to disney and i got sentimental and i'm even willing to ride small world on my last night that's crazy or sleep deprivation who knows boats are going out basically empty this is where there's no weight at all ha go figure grab at midnight so halfway through extended hours to give you an idea of wait times as you can see it's a lot lot quieter you see what I mean it's now 12 15 we're by pirates and it's like having the park to yourself this side always is a little bit quieter people are at Splash Mountain Space Mountain Seven Dwarves uh, even Haunted Mansion but over here really really quiet I like it yeah I like this kind of wait for pirates this will do there's somebody here I'm by myself And with that, we have made our way round the park. Pirates is the last thing I'm gonna do. Dad. Look at that. It's time to say goodbye. <sighs> I should just keep walking and not turn around, but we know it's not that simple and the camera just doesn't do it justice. I'm looking at it through the lens and I'm looking at it in person and trust me that iridescence and that glow in real life is much more vivid and stunning. It subtly changes colours. It's quite beautiful. It really is like this iridescence. They captured it. They did a beautiful job. Um, the only people still around now 
kind of getting photos, it is 20 to 1. But most people, I think, are kind of finishing up their last ride, making their way out the park now. You know, the castle's stunning, but even this way, as you walk down Main Street at night, I've always loved pretty lights. And these really are the best. Spring Palace still open. Casey's Corner right here is still open. So hot dogs and ice cream can be had at one in the morning if you really want them. <laughs> we need to walk down the middle, not the side. The Emporium is of course open. The bakery is open, which is Starbucks. Don't be fooled, it's Starbucks. <laughs> um, so all the stores down here are open. I'll check if the confectionery is open as well. But you can get those last minute purchases and treats. So I'm here with my friends, Lady and Tramp. By the way, if you don't know about these gold statues, there is 50 characters represented across all four parks for the 50th anniversary of Disney World. Because while I've done a few trips since the anniversary, it's still going on and it's going to be going on for about 18 months. So you have not missed out all into the... It's going to go into next year. Um, I'm going to say goodnight. I might be saying goodbye to Magic Kingdom and I might be saying goodbye to the theme parks now. But we don't go home till tomorrow night. What we haven't done and what I haven't shown you is enough of the Dolphin Resort. There's a lot more to see. We haven't done a lot of Disney Springs. We simply, we went down there the first night to watch Jurassic Park. Um, <laughs> so I think we might hit up Disney Springs tomorrow and do a little bit of resort exploring. In the meantime, it is about 1 a.m. My feet are dying because we started if you can remember we started about 8 a.m at epcot that's a long day people uh, <laughs> so i'm gonna get some sleep once i get back to the dolphin in the meantime good night from them good night from me and town square and magic kingdom no we're not gonna wobble This is brutal. All right, I will see you in the morning. I'm gonna be fine, I promise. I'm gonna be fine. I love you, good night.